okay, here's our operation game we made with Scratch and a Makey Makey. Alright, my son's going to try it. He's got a broken arm though. And it's his left hand, which is his hand he writes with, so it's going to be extra hard for him today. Oh, don't touch those sides. Got the screw. You can try after. Oh, get off those sides. We picked the scariest sound we could find. The washer's a really hard one. Oh, has he got it? Oh! That's a lot of stuff. All right, Makerspace video number three. We're going to try to make the operation game, so classic game from my childhood. So I have went online and I printed off the operation guy, so we're going to operate on him. And I'm going to use a cereal box and glue that on top. And then I was thinking for the different bones, um, just use some hardware, which I believe will be conductive. And I've got some metal tweezers here. So <clears throat> if I hook the tweezers up to the space button, so just use an alligator clip. And I've got this red wire hooked up as my ground. So I'm just going to test and see if this will actually work. So if I pick up the screw, for example, and if you look at the makey makey, if I touch the screw then to the ground, you can see that green light's lighting up. So that is conductive and these things should work and see if we can get operation built. All right, I've got uh, the operation guy glued onto the box and what I'm gonna do is figure out where I wanna put these bones, which we're gonna try to pull out of them. So the screw looks like a pretty good leg bone, so I'm gonna just trace that on there and then cut it out. So that's roughly the shape I want. This could be like a knee. Or why don't we put this in the middle? It's gonna be his intestines. Something like that. <laughs> Here this is in the knee. And this can be the elbow right here. Okay, those are traced on there and I've got this scapula device here and I'm going to try to cut those out. Okay, I've got all my holes cut out and I'm going to cut open this box so I can kind of open it like a book because I'm going to want to get inside to be able to wire it. And my thinking is that I'll line these with copper tape and then hook them up to the makey makey. So then if you pick them up with the tweezers, it'll set off some kind of alarm. So I'm just going to cut this book open, or this box open, like a book. It's a book. A book that you read. This isn't a book that you read. <laughs> now I can get inside and start to work on this. All right, so I've got all these holes cut out, and I'm just gonna roughly mark off where the holes are in the bottom of the box because I want to add some little walls to try and prevent the hardware from going and falling wherever inside of the box. So here's my spots, and I'm just gonna use some of this Bristol board and. 
create sort of a barrier to hold the hardware roughly in place. I'm using hot glue. <laughs> Holds everything. Daddy. Okay, so there's one of them and I'm just waiting for the rest for the glue to dry and then I'll do the rest. And the idea is just this gives a place where the hardware can go in and it won't end up getting lost down in the box away from the hole. I've got all these little areas made off to hold the hardware so the hardware fits inside of them. I'm going to line the edges of these with copper tape now so that if you touch the tweezers to the copper tape it'll set off some type of alarm. So I've got some copper tape. Try to peel the back off of this stuff. Easier said than done. And I'm just going to put this along the outside edge, or the inside edge I should say. And leave a little tail to connect the alligator clip to. And then I'm going to just fold this little extra tail over here. So now I can easily take an alligator clip and connect it onto there. And then the other end will go back to the makey makey. I've got all of these lined with copper tape now and connected an alligator clip to each piece of copper tape and then ran those all back to the ground on the makey makey and then this red wire here is connect connected to the up arrow and then that goes and is connected to the tweezers so we might just do some testing now see how it see how it's working so if I touch the tweezers to the copper tape you see it lights up lights up lights up if I can get my hand out of the way that one lights up too so they're all working so I'm going to close this game up, tape it up, and then we can try playing it. I've cleaned up these holes a bit so the copper tape's sticking out. And what I'm going to do is add another layer of copper tape around the edge so it comes up a bit higher. And the only reason this works is because this is the adhesive on this is conductive. So if you have copper tape that doesn't have an adhesive back, then this probably isn't going to work for you. But with this one, it does work and I'm just bringing the copper tape up a little bit higher to make it a little more challenging and what's interesting is if you're holding the tweezers then if you also bump the copper tape with your hand you're gonna set off our little buzzer as well so I'm just going around the outside and raising this up above the top of the box. Attaching copper tape onto copper tape. So I still have a circuit. Right, a super simple code for operation. Because all we really want to do is when and not the space we want the up arrow because I hooked the tweezers up to the up arrow on the makey makey. So when the up arrow key is pressed, we're going to get it to play a sound. So if we go to sounds and we've got a load of sound, so we'll pick a human sound. I like that one. Double click on it. Back to our script. And anytime the up arrow key is pressed, it'll play that scream sound. Perfect. So something I recently discovered is that we've got these outputs on the back of the Makey Makey, and I've never used these before. But we should be able to hook an LED light up to them. And with the LED light hooked up, 
anytime that we hit the sides on operation, the light will light up and we can end up putting that on his nose. So just like the original game, we can have a light that lights up when you bump the sides. So on here, there's, I'm going to put a jumper wire and output and a jumper wire in the ground. And then just attach those jumper wires to an alligator clip. And then got my LED light here. So it's got two legs on it. So I'm going to attach the alligator clips from the output and from the ground each to a leg. Now the thing about LEDs is electricity will only go through them in one direction. So if this doesn't work, then I just need to flip the alligator light clips to the opposite legs. So we can test this out and see if it will light up. So I got my tweezers and hook them up to the up arrow. So let's give this a try. So if I touch the tweezers to the side, it's working. So it lights up and then it does that scream sound that we coded. So I'm just going to poke the LED light right through here and then connect it through the bottom and then we're ready to go. Okay, operation with the makey makey. We're going to try this game out. So I've got my tweezers here and I'm going to go for this leg bone first. It's the easiest one because I made this hole too big. Yeah, no problem with that. Okay, let's try this. The intestines. This is a wing nut here. Got it. Okay. Fail. Got the washer. Ah! Oh. That sounds a little bit terrifying when you're trying to focus. Okay, I got the knee bone. Let's try this wing nut again. Ah! Oh, it didn't even get in. Focus. It's hard to hold on to. Got it. Okay, only a couple of buzzes.